March is colorectal cancer awareness month. Now this is not something any of us want to think or talk about, but now we have a cautionary tale of why prevention is so important. It's a story you'll see only on seven. This is Patty Casey. She says she's always on top of things when it comes to her health, regular checkups and mammograms. But at the age of 65, she had never gotten a colonoscopy. Casey works at MedStar Washington Hospital Center. And one day, making a delivery to the gastroenterology department, staff member Sherelle Freeman Davis asked her about that colonoscopy. And I was like, ooh, uh, and she caught me. She said, you're not leaving here without signing up. So I did. Dr. Jennifer Lee did the procedure and had a lot of news to deliver to Casey. She said, well, I, it was quite, quite eventful, I think was her word. You said you thought maybe you had one or two polyps, and she said we found quite a few. What is quite a few? 19, 19 polyps. Wow. And that, that, that kind of was like, wow, that's, you know, was quite a harvest. <laughs> <laughs> Casey can joke about it now, but she dodged a bullet. Dr. Lee also found a neuroendocrine tumor. And the tumor itself, was it benign or was it malignant? It was malignant, they found out after they tested it. That illustrates why it's so important to get your colonoscopy. Dr. Lee, gastroenterologist at MedStar, says colon cancer can arise from small growths called polyps. These polyps often don't have symptoms, and, and that's why you hear by the time there are symptoms, it's often advanced. And so it's important to catch it while it's still a polyp. Dr. Lee says everyone should get a colonoscopy by age 50, African Americans by age 45. Your doctor will also take into account family history and if you have any symptoms. My encouragement for everyone is if you don't want to commit to the colonoscopy just yet, that's okay as long as you have the conversation with your doctor. Now, Patty Casey feels like she has a new lease on life. She recently married her partner of 30 years, and she's already had a follow-up colonoscopy. Think of it like uh, getting your tires rotated or your oil changed. You had no symptoms, so without this test, you would have had this tumor, and who knows what would have happened next. That's right. It could have been a ticking time bomb inside of me. And she has a new friend for life in Sherelle Freeman Davis. Have you thanked her, by the way? Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Now, in case you're wondering, you are asleep for a colonoscopy, so it does not hurt. The prep work can be unpleasant, <laughs> drinking special fluids the day before. But Patty Casey would tell you it is well worth it. And often, you don't have to have another colonoscopy for five or even ten years. Jonathan.